Hi everyone, this is Jason Jurtish, aka The Mobile Philosopher, and in this video we're going to see an awesome online application which is called Soundtrap, which you can find at soundtrap.com. And this application is designed to compete directly with GarageBand. And it will offer you almost everything that GarageBand does, but it's all online. And the nice thing about it is you can use this on a Chromebook. And in fact, I'm right now using Screencastify to record this video, which is also something designed to record Screencast on a Chromebook. So we're going to step right in here. You just after you sign up, obviously, you enter the studio. Depending on how fast your Wi-Fi connection is and how fast your CPU is, this will go slower or faster. I'm using an HP 14 Chromebook right now, which means it's not going to go super fast. But as you can see, when you enter, it's very empty. But don't be deceived. It's got a lot of power behind this and a lot of options. I'm going to run through them real quickly. To the side here, it's got a special thing that only Soundtrap has, which is collaboration. You can actually go online, invite other people to create music with you. You can invite friends. You can have a video chat with those friends while you're recording at the same time. Again, this will all depend on how fast your Wi-Fi and your CPU is on how fluid it will be. But this type of thing is an awesome thing so that you can actually be separate and you can connect things. You can connect me to this thing. If you're using a Mac, you can actually have real-time monitoring, which they're going to try to bring to Chromebooks very soon. And leaving this part, you have a ton of loops. You can find many, many, many types of loops here. You have drums and synth and rock and piano, sound effects, all these types of things. When you go through these loops, you can just click on one real quick to hear it before you add it to your track. Obviously, again, with the Wi-Fi. Some are going to be loud, some are going to be soft. So you just go through and find the ones you like. And once you have one, for example, you just double click on this guy and actually he goes thrown right into the, the track here. And over here, as you can see, you have your left and right, you got your volume, you have your mute buttons, all that type of stuff. And up here, if you look at it, you got a couple things here. You can actually extend this guy. So, for example, I can go like this, grab him, pull him over. And as you can see, you can compress it to make it faster, or you can lengthen to make it longer. It's got a limit to how long you can make it. Or you can repeat it. There's a circle up here which allows you to repeat and make the track longer. Here above, you have a white little button that you can use to uh, cause a fading if you wanted. Sometimes it gets a little sticky here, so you're going to have to play around with it. But um, if you grab it, for example, here, let's see if we can grab this guy. There we go. And when you grab him, you can pull him over so it actually fades out. You can actually do the same thing over here and grab him and fade him in. So that type of thing is possible with this. Awesome, awesome type of thing. And obviously, cutting and that type of thing you can use. And there's keyboard shortcuts, which I still haven't delved into yet, but it allows you to do quick cutting and pasting and things like that. So that's a that's a pretty awesome awesome option here that you have, and obviously the space bar allows you to play and stop. Down here you have recording, you have the master volume. You can actually add, add a metronome. The metronome has various options. You can do a click, a hi hat, all the type of stuff. You can change the key of everything. So if you don't like the key of something, you go in here and just pop in a different key. So you can change your entire music um, feeling with that. So you can change the tempo down here. You got the possibility of changing it to whatever number you want. Very awesome stuff here. And if we close this up, we can see as well, we have up here, we have what's called a snap to grid. If I click on this, we have the grid sizes. Down here, we have the possibility of making it bigger or smaller in regards to seconds and minutes. Very awesome stuff here. Um, as well, we also have the possibility of adding instruments. So here I can add a track. When I add this track, I have the possibility of using a computer mic, Soundtrap instruments, I can import stuff, I can connect an instrument by MIDI, as well as you can see here by USB, this type of stuff. Very, very fascinating, awesome stuff that you can do with this with wonderful software. Here, if I go into Soundtrap instruments, I have drums and I have keyboard. If I click on the keyboard, so out pops the synth here. And as you can see, it's actually giving me letters so I can play around with this. So for example, if I press on a G here, it's going to give me that. If I press a D, it's going to give me that. So I can go, for example, something like this. I 
I can record that, pop it in, make it into a loop, and use that if I want. Up here, you can see you have reverb, and resonance, and frequency. I can tweak this guy. If I click on this, I got a lot more possibilities up here. You can do a ton of stuff here. Uh, when you record this type of stuff, then you can just pop it in. And then, for example, I can go back in here. Or if I want, I can go to the editor and see what I recorded. In this case, we can just play around with this a little bit. We'll go back and record a little bit of this guy. Put him there. It gives you the metronome. Okay, a little off there, but that could just be because of the CPU. We're going to press pause. Stop on that guy. Then if I go back to the editor, you're going to see what I have there. And there you have the notes and everything. I can play around with those notes if I want, for example. So if I want, I can grab him there. And in theory, there you go. You double click this guy, out pops, and you can move the notes around. Very, very awesome stuff. So you can do a ton of stuff here. Pretty darn amazing. Then on top of that, we can add another track. And this time we'll do the drums. We'll pop out of here so we don't need him anymore. If I go to track here, I can add drums. Adding drums here. Gives me various options to do drums. The drums do take a while to load. Again, this will depend on your Wi-Fi and your CPU power. So when it's done loading, you can start playing around until it loads and you can't do much. Now we have the drums. So here we have the numbers here, as you can see. And you have various types of drums. You can go into jazz and all these types of stuff. You click on this guy, you have these long toms, for example, loading. You can do a cue here. Awesome stuff. So you have long toms, and if you click on this guy, you have other options that come into play. And you can add effects to these guys. You can go up here and you have bass and treble and reverb, and that's not even... And that's not all they have. They have add effects here. You can click on add effects and you have all these guys here. So you have tons of stuff that you can do both with your synth and your drums and all the other things that you want to add. And then if you add another track, the nice thing here is you can go into, for example, a connect an instrument or external mic. You can actually add a, uh, a vocal mic. And these guys, you can use an iRig. You can use all types of stuff. You can, you can add a USB professional mics here all the wonderful ones that you've been using in the past and that works perfectly here. And like I said before, if you have a Mac, you can use real-time monitoring and you have reverb on. Uh, Windows and Chromebooks are going to come soon, hopefully. But really, you have tons and tons of options here that allow you to work in a very efficient manner and making something very professional. And the wonderful thing about it is they also give you options at the end to export this thing to MP3. And then you can actually upload it to certain sites, which will actually sell the music for you, or at least get it to where you can get public and be heard by other people. So this thing has got a ton of options, and I really, really, really highly suggest looking into it and playing around with it and seeing what it offers you. Hopefully later on, I'll give you some other possibilities of seeing how things work in here with a little more detail. You do have some tutorials up here. If you go on top, you have video tutorials when you pop that guy open. They're going to be adding more tutorials each time. I would highly suggest going through so you can see what you can do. But I really, really underline this is good stuff for any serious musician. This is also good for people who are working at schools so you can do podcasts and things like that. Really awesome stuff. Please take a look at it. Tell me what you think in the comments. If you find anything interesting about the application that you want me to put in a video, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to make another one on it. But hopefully you guys will take advantage of this and have a lot of fun with it. Take care.